Economists call this a natural experiment. It's something that happens organically, but reveals a fundamental truth about what humans prefer. And along those lines, I'm pretty sure that we have just completed the world's largest natural experiment to find out what the single least popular card in a deck of cards are. We're talking 10 years and 350,000 organic trials out in the wild. You wanna know? You wanna know? You wanna know. It's a tie. Nine of clubs and 10 of clubs are scientifically the least popular cards in the deck. Just as Scam School was launching, I had an idea for a trick that could be buried in plain sight, where everybody could access these prediction videos and make it look like they knew exactly what card somebody was thinking of before they even said it. The idea was you claimed that you could say some poetry that would cause somebody to think of a card. They would have a totally free choice of what the card was. Only after they revealed the card, you would react and say, oh my God, that's what that expert said. And you would give the name of the expert, they would Google the guy, and sure enough, there's a clip with him saying, every time you hear these lines of poetry, everybody thinks of this one particular card. It was amazing. And of course, the method was, we created 52 different accounts with 52 different names of experts, and he claimed 52 different cards. You only revealed the name of the experts and told them where to search after you knew what the card was. But we had the beginnings of a natural experiment that would reveal what our inherent biases are towards the most popular and unpopular playing cards in the deck. Because we have 52 different accounts under 52 different names, it's safe to assume that the only reason anybody's looking at these videos is because they're performing the trick on a friend. And part of that performance involves them saying, think of any playing card you want out of the entire deck. Which means we know how many times the trick was performed and what the most popular choices were. Couple of caveats. First of all, we don't know how everybody performed the trick. For example, very quickly, I got tired of people saying Ace of Spades and Queen of Hearts. So when I performed it, I would always say, don't pick an obvious card like an Ace of Spades or the Queen of Hearts, which of course would bias the results. And there's the outside possibility that these lines of poetry actually do shape people's choice of what card they're gonna pick. I don't think so though. <laughs> Look guys, let's get real. I don't wanna hide it anymore. I love Domain.com, that's right, I said it. I love their 99.99% .99 uptime and reliability. I love the fact that they make domains fast, easy, and reliable to register. I love the fact, most of all, that you get 15% off by using promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout. I don't care if you're craving the credibility of a .com or a .net, you can get any kind of top-level domain you want. Get yourself a .pizza, a .ninja. A, I'm pretty sure they can arrange a .rad dude. I don't know if that's a real thing. They'll probably correct me in the comments. But the important thing is make sure to do it at Domain.com. They've been supporting us for years and we want to support them right back in their lovely, beautiful, perfectly symmetrical faces. We love you, Domain.com. All right, we'll start with suits. In order of popularity, it goes hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. And get this, hearts and spades together, 60% of all of the choices, nearly two thirds of the time, you ask for a random card, people are gonna have it be either a heart or a spade. For values in order, it was ace, queen, seven, king, three. That was amazing to me that a seven was more popular than a king. A jack didn't even make that top five. And the least popular card, nine. Nearly tied with 10. Everyone hates nines and tens. Which brings us to the grand champions, the top five most popular cards. When people know they're in the middle of a magic trick and they pick a card, the top ones are Ace of Spades, Queen of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds, and King of Hearts. These five cards alone account for over 27% of the selections. Think about it, if you have those cards on you, you have a better in one in four chance of getting it exactly right. Which brings us to the least popular cards in the entire deck, the 10 of spades, the queen of clubs, the four of clubs, the nine of clubs, and the 10 of clubs. Seems like a lot of these are even numbers and certainly clubs. I don't know why everybody hates clubs, but they hate them. But here's the important thing. I want you guys to dive into the deep data and tell me what insights you figure out. So check the notes down below. Everything is in there. These are authentic, natural, experimental data that you get to figure out what to do with in the future. You're welcome.